So now let's use our work on finding equations of lines and use that with word problems. So let's take a look at problem number one, which says last year, Pinwheel Industries introduced a new toy. It cost $2,600 to develop the toy and $10 to manufacture each toy. Determine a linear equation to represent the total cost C to produce n of these toys. Okay, so this is kind of nice the way they asked that question. They gave us our variables. Did you notice? So one of the first things that I want you to do is declare your variables. Get yourself in that habit. So our input variable is n, right? And n is the number of toys being produced. Okay, notice I didn't write any a toy because that's not enough detail. You need to tell me what aspect of the toy N represents. Is it, is it cost? Is it size? Is it color? Is it, and so here it is number. So it's the number of toys produced. And then C is the total cost to produce these toys. And you can, if you think about this equation, the cost to produce the toys will be based on how many toys are produced, right, on the number of toys. So that's why we're calling n the number of toys, the input variable, and then c, our output variable, which is cost, depends on n. So that gives us an idea that the n is kind of taking the place of our x, so it's our input variable, and that c is our y or output variable, right? Okay. We need an equation and it's linear. So we know that linear equations, one of the way to write linear equations is in slope intercept form. So we need something that's acting as some sort of a rate. So do you see anything in the given information? Now let's read it again. It says here, last year Pinwheel Industries introduced a new toy. It cost $2,600 to develop the toy and $10 to manufacture each toy. So do you hear a rate in there somewhere that could be acting as our slope? Do you hear a rate? Now if you're thinking $10 to manufacture each toy or $10 per toy, $10 per toy, that is a rate. And that's going to be our M. So in order to figure out the total cost to manufacture the toys, we need to multiply the total number of toys that we are manufacturing, which we don't know, but we're calling N, times the price per toy, which is, or actually cost per toy, which is $10. So 10N is part of our equation for sure. And of course, that's going to equal total cost. That's what we're building. But where does the $2,600 come in? Well, that's the initial cost to develop the toy, and it's a one-time cost, isn't it? So we are going to add that $2,600 to the 10N, and so in this case, you can see that it's acting as our intercept, isn't it? As our C-intercept. So, so when we have not produced any toys yet, N equals zero, we still have this $2,600 bill to pay, or Pinwheel Industries does, has this $2,600 cost to pay for the cost of developing the toy. So that's like our intercept. Okay, so there's our equation. I hope that made some sense. Now, Part B says, what is the total cost to produce 3,400 toys? What is the total cost to produce 3,400 toys means N is 3,400. So to find the cost, we would just substitute 3,400 in where the n is and use the equation that we found in part a. So our nice linear equation, right? So let's see what we get there. This would be 34,000 plus 2,600. And so we get $36,600. So our conclusion statement here is that the total cost to produce 3,400 toys is $36,600. I'm going to actually write that down. So there's my conclusion statement. The total cost to produce 3,400 toys is $36,600. Includes units. Everything's very clear. Now, Part C is asking us how many toys can be produced 
when the total cost is $39,600. So this time around, we know C, so we're being asked to find N when we know the total cost C of $39,600. So let's use our equation again. And here it is, I'm gonna rewrite the equation. So there was our equation, and now we're gonna substitute 39,600, and we're looking for N. So we'll do a little bit of algebra here, subtracting the 2,600 from both sides since we're trying to solve for N. And these numbers are nice. Somebody was very kind to us. And we're going to divide by 10, which crosses off one of those zeros. And so the conclusion, when the total cost is $39,600, 3,700 toys can be produced.